Lewis Hamilton, Nicholas Latifi and Sebastian Vettel are retiring at the end of this season. So that's going to make some changes going into uh, season three of the career mode. Uh, yeah, season two and F1, season three in the whole career mode. Uh, there will be there will be new drivers coming to the series, and yeah, let's get into today's episode then. Like I said, three drivers retiring. Hamilton was upset with uh not just really Mercedes because obviously he is still in the championship fight. Just as a whole, he just wasn't really like up like he wasn't really focused in F one anymore. And yeah, Latifi just wanted to retire anyway. And Sebastian Vettel said his time had come to retire as his Aston Martin wasn't pushing up to expectations. So new drivers are going to be coming into F1. And if you check the comment, I think it's on my previous video. You will see uh, some of the new drivers. They are in F2 currently at the moment. And I'll be doing uh, probably a video or something like that describing... Uh, who the new drivers are going to be that'll be later to the end of the season so we still got half a season left with those guys and now let's get into today's race finally so right now qualifying we are p6 in our home grand prix then and we are looking to improve as verstappen it looks like has topped the timing sheets bottas in second hamilton the man retiring at the end of the season in third can we improve on our lap we're just a, a few thousands of seconds away from stroll can we improve on a lap across the line we do improve but it's not enough to move us up anywhere so we will be starting in p6 our teammate down in p11 then so that's that's a decent qualifying from us i will take that especially in this championship race at the moment with it being so tight we will take that stroll just up ahead of us and um, yeah so let's get into today's race it looks like it's going to be a bit of dynamic weather it's gonna rain in a few minutes, so we'll start on the super soft tire. And yeah, let's get into today's race then. And as we now line up on the grid and we go to three, four, five red lights in our home Grand Prix, lights are away we go. And it's a decent start from our stroll instantly moves aggressively to cover us off. We get up the inside, maybe of Leclerc and Stroll. We're up into P4 now, Stroll. It's on our inside though, and Leclerc on our outside. Can we get past Hamilton? Maybe as well. Leclerc, we're side by side with him. We could also get Bottas. It could be a free wide moment down the uh, the main straight then. Can we make a move? No, we can't. We actually lose some time to Verstappen on. I mean, not Verstappen. Uh, Bottas and Hamilton is everyone. Goes wide in that uh, part of the corner. And Stroll is still... Uh, side by side with us, I think, and we just about squeeze him out. Try to go around the outside of Hamilton. Can't make the uh, move stick, but Stroll is on our inside, but we cover him off a bit. And now we get past Hamilton, maybe, can we? On the outside, no, we can't. We actually dip a tyre in the grass. Um, we need to maybe find a way to get past him now. Maybe down the inside of Hamilton, into this next corner. Can we do it? Late breaking, both of us, we can't do it. Hamilton good on the brakes as well. And we just can't uh, pass him. Maybe on to this corner now as Verstappen still leads, Bottas in second and Hamilton in third. Let's move on though in the race and it's already time to pit in for wet intermediate tyres. Is the tyres to choose them and we pit in and interestingly the top three didn't uh, come in then. Uh, actually the top five didn't come in including Sean Leclerc so yeah. So um... That's interesting, we're going to be way faster than them, because the track is now wet, as we look behind us, and I lost concentration for a second, we grazed the wall, luckily no damage there, that would have been a stupid incident to happen, but yeah, so we're going to be way faster than those guys right now, so if we can do some, uh, a bit of catching up work, and we might be able to pass them before um, they pit, maybe, because their tyres are not going to... Their, their tires are not going to be great, they're going to be sliding everywhere in these conditions. So we could catch them up that much to pass them before they pit, hopefully. And now, moving on in this race, and we see Verstappen, Hamilton, uh, Stroll, Leclerc, Bottas have all come into the pits. We're still on the straight to pass the pits, actually. So where are we going to be in terms of them, guys? We pass Stroll and Leclerc, and we pass Bottas and Hamilton, and we're right side by side with Verstappen. We have to slow down to avoid contact with him. He retains his lead. We do a lovely switchback as he's on cold tyres. 
on the inside now, side by side for the race lead. Verstappen edges us out into that corner though, and we dive down the inside. And it's a great move from us, but still, the Red Bull car has superior power to the Alpha Tauri. Although we are dragging ourselves alongside him, we just can't really put our power down enough. And now we're just going to try and maybe have to find an opening as we go wide on the grass. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn our settings to max um, max speed because these wet tyres, they don't wear as quickly as dries. And I feel like we'll be able to push a bit more on these dry tyres. Look at that, Bottas comes almost down our inside. He, he would have caught us napping if he had made that move. We're still trying to maybe catch up to Verstappen, although he has kind of dropped us already. Shows the power of that Red Bull car this season. As it seems like Giovinazzi uh, has also jumped. I don't know why he's got the colour of a Mercedes car. He's not. It's just, like I said, it's, I think it's a glitch where... I don't know why it happens. But yeah, Gio obviously in the Alfa Romeo. But yeah, he's in P5, so well well done to him. He jumped Stroll and Leclerc, so well done. As we move on now uh, to later in lap form, we have caught up to Verstappen. We're right under his car. And can we make a move, maybe, if we size it up? We could make a dive bomb down the inside here. We just can't. We're way too far back, actually. And as you can see on the minimap, we have dropped Bottas and Hamilton. So that is positive news for us. We've got good pace in this car. That's why I turned it up to the max speed because I knew these tyres would hold out a little. They're fairly worn. But anyway, so yeah, we got the pace and now on to lap 8. Uh, four laps later, it is time for dries. We pit him for the hards. Verstappen also comes in as well. Everyone's going to come in. Uh, so where are we going to be in terms of behind Verstappen? We obviously jump Hamilton and Bottas and it looks like Verstappen. Yeah, I mean, he was, if you go back a bit, he was, he had dropped us a bit, so... We come out pretty much the same as we had come in the distances. As yeah, so Bottas I don't think uh has switched places. I don't know what Stroll and the club are doing by the way. Um yes, so I think there may have been an incident in the pit lane, maybe. I just didn't see. As we go down the inside of Verstappen, side by side, lap eight, for the race lead once again. On dry tyres this time, not on the slippery wets. And now we're on his outside. It's going to be so hard to make a move into this corner on the outside of him in our home race. For the race lead. But we dip a tyre onto the grass again. We go wide. Momentarily, we do have the lead here, but we have to give Verstappen the space. And he forces us wide there. Yeah, he did force us wide. Maybe he blocked up or something. And he retains the lead. As it looks like Salvatore is now in P5. I don't know why... P5 has become a sort of switch in place for the lower cars. But yeah, so I don't know where Gio is. Because surely he should have been in uh, that P5 unless he had a bit of a slow stop. So let's move on now to lap 9. Well, we no, a little bit later in lap 9, we go wide off of that uh, long straight. And now Bottas is caught up behind us. And he's on the right side. Maybe he can make a move in the Puma racing car, obviously, it's a very quick car, as Bottas is showing this season. He is very much in the championship fight, and he goes on our outside. We have to pull back into the slipstream. This is a battle for second. We were just battling for first a lap ago. As we go down the outside, inside of Bottas, and he pulls away from us, and look, I'm weaving in frustration because I don't know what just happened there. Um, maybe we broke a bit early, and Bottas, it looked like just speeded ahead of us there. So I don't know what's going on with that. As we move on to lap 11 and look at the gap to Verstappen now. He has slowed down a bit and I've been pulled ahead by Bottas' toe. As we go down the inside, maybe into the last corner, we just couldn't get the move. But yeah, Bottas and, up and me, we've caught up to Verstappen. We've kind of worked as a team. Even though we are nowhere near teams, we are fierce rivals. We've kind of worked as a team to bridge this gap to Verstappen and now we've brought the gap down. But... Look at this, what you're about to see. Look at the speed uh, gap in terms of Verstappen and Bottas. Look how much they're pulled away on the straight. That is how much their speed is to us. That is how much we really need to gain on them if we really want to be in the championship fight. Because on long straights, we're not that good. But on corners like that, we are that good. And we dive down inside of Bottas. We should have the moves now. Uh, yeah, we do. We're in P2. And I was just about to say that in the corners, we are very strong. It's just in the main straights, really, that 
Look, see Verstappen always tries to pull away as we go wide on lap 12. And Bottas get past us and we've lost a load of time. We went wide out that uh, final corner. I didn't quite uh, catch the lock up there. I tried to pause it when I when we were like locking up, but yeah, I couldn't do that. But yeah, we went wide and now we've lost the bucket load of time. As these guys' tires have worn, Bottas is... Well, just Bottas' tires have worn. He pits for the softs. So Verstappen stays out. But yeah, that's going to cost us. Uh, because, see, if we were... If we hadn't have went wide, we probably would have uh, been right uh next to Verstappen then because we've caught him up already which shows the pace of our car maybe in the first sector apart from that long straight as now Gio Fanazzi starts to pit people are starting to come in so their tires are starting to wear we're still on the hards and look at the look at the wear on the hards and it's not really present to be honest still in second place Hamilton has jumped Bottas but I don't think he's pit yet so yeah uh, can we maybe finally get a slipstream on Verstappen or is he just going to pull away like a maniac? I think you already know the answer. Yeah, look at the speed on the straight. We're going to dive in because these hards do not feel quick enough. We're going to go to the softs to last the rest of the race. I've never really had to do this before. Um, pit. I wasn't meant to pit. Sorry, I can't get my voice. I wasn't meant to pit for um softs. I just felt, felt like the hards... We're way too slow. As now Bottas looks like has jumped us as we just exited the pit lane. Bottas has jumped us. Uh, so that is not good. I actually thought we might have been able to jump him. I didn't see it, but I thought we might have been able to jump him. But let's try and catch him out. These softs are pretty quick, but the soapy softs are quicker. And obviously our car is not as quick as the Puma Racing, but I don't know why. Did Bottas just break in um, a straight line? Because there's no way I'm passing him like that. I think he just broke in a straight line. I don't know what's going on with Bottas. But now Hamilton and Verstappen. Verstappen's still staying out, I think. Uh, Hamilton is in the pit, so we pass him up into P2. But Verstappen actually is coming out the pits. And we emerge in first place in our home race. That rhymed. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't only just realised that. But first place... In the British Grand Prix. I remember last season in F2. We were so close to getting a podium. And I, f I think it was a podium. And we lost it on the last corner. Now. We are within touching distance of a race win. Apart from the fact that we've got a very quick uh, Red Bull. And a very quick Puma Racing car behind us. We've kind of dropped them on the straight though. But I think... They are in our slipstream though, so this is not going to be good. We've still got one and a half laps left to keep this lead. It will only be our second race win in Formula 1 in our debut season. Can we do what Lewis Hamilton, the man who's retiring, couldn't do and win his first British Grand Prix though? We go wide. As I say that, Verstappen and Bottas get past us. We nip Bottas's car. We nip his uh, left retire and he kind of skid. Uh, skidded off there a bit. And we're up into P2, right behind Verstappen, he brake checks us. And now, he goes wide, he goes off the track. I think he's emerged back in P3 though. But now Bottas is on us, I don't know why the AI are pretty much brake checking us on that straight. It's not even a corner, it's still a straight. On the outside of Bottas, battle for P1, we go wide again. As Bottas forces us wide. But look at his tyre wear. Look at the super softs. They wore that quickly. And now... He might have a punch on into this last lap unless he pits. So he's. I don't think he's going to win the race because our softs are not going to wear that much in one lap. On the last lap, Bottas' tyres, they're going to wear between when we get to that uh, last corner on this main straight right now as Bottas decides to pit in because he knew he, he wouldn't have won the race because his tyres would have been worn by the time we got to here. So we would have easily passed him. So it looks like we are going to come home and win the Grand Prix as Hamilton jumps his former teammate Bottas. It's going to be P uh, a podium for Hamilton in his final home race in Formula 1. It is kind of sad to see Hamilton go, but those new F2 drivers are going to be um, eager for that place. And we'll see at the end of the season the standings in F2. But now we're coming round the final few corners. Verstappen's nowhere near us. He can't catch us. 
into this final uh, corner then round the final corner we're going to take home 25 points this is going to be a major boost in our championship fight as well didn't think i'd be saying that at the start of the season but we come home to win the british grand prix what a drive from us our home race we get the win as we're stopping avoid contact with us there as yeah we get the win our first british grand prix in formula one and we win it hamilton's last and he gets a podium so yeah um Great stuff there, and as a championship, we move up to second place behind Charles Leclerc, who only scored 4 points this race, and with uh, 16 points behind him, it's not that big of a gap, to be honest. One point ahead of Stroll and Verstappen, who are tied in third. Bottas is a further 15 points back, Hamilton's in sixth, and it doesn't look like Hamilton will be winning the championship in his final season. Though you never know, and then there's a massive gap to Giovinazzi. Uh, next up is the Hungarian Grand Prix, and if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.